So what is going on guys, NanoPins93 here with another video, but before we begin and I open up this box, uh, I did start a Twitter account, which I'll put on the screen right now, right in the middle. And basically what I'm going to have with that Twitter account is just updates about this channel, new video releases, some video hints, because I do like to throw some, you know, Amazon gift cards in the middle and end my videos. So on the Twitter account I'll post maybe when a video has an Amazon gift card. Like, hey, special treat at the end of the video, or keep an eye out for something awesome in the middle of the video. That way, the people on Twitter have a reason to be following me, and also an incentive to go watch the video, which would be nice. But that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. I'll also do my Q&As from there, meaning if I do have a Q&A video idea, I'll go on Twitter and post something for you guys to ask me questions, and then I'll do a video about it. I just feel like it's another way for us to interact, which would be awesome. And I'll definitely ask you guys a bunch of questions too, as to what you guys wanna see next. So now let's hop onto the video. So today, I have a box from a company called Totally which I actually personally reached out to them and they were nice enough to send me a few iPhone cases to review, to test out, to see how I like them and what I thought about them. So they sent me, I told them that we have an iPhone 11 Pro Max on the right and my wife just got this iPhone 11. So I figured, hey, this is a great opportunity for them to show me both of their offerings. And they obviously make them for the old phones and they come in three finishes, which I noticed on the website. They have the matte finish, the clear finish, and then they also have a genuine leather finish. Those, so the clear and the matte are $29.99 and the leather is $39.99. So you're looking at about 30 or 40 bucks. And what's their branding is this is like, we are the thin phone case company. And that's what I look for in an iPhone case. I don't really look for drop protection because I very rarely drop it. And if I do, I'm usually not dropping it on the concrete. I look for a case that is thin and is more there so it doesn't get scratched in my pocket. And I like the fact that it's a case versus a skin because skins, you kind of, you're kind of stuck with that skin for a really long time. And once you take it off, you can't reuse it. So enough talking, let's open up this box, see what we got. So I did open the box already, but I haven't seen what cases we have. So I love the presentation and there's a little personal note in here, which is a nice touch. I always like that. It makes you feel a little more important. And let's pull this out. We have four cases, move this out of the way. So these are the four cases. Again, I'm gonna go through each one of them, open them up. So if we go through the box, I love how it's branded. It's all super thin, super minimal. Again, totally on the front. How to get in contact with them or how to go find more cases. And then this little pull tab. Pull this out, like a little drawer. So this is where the case is held. And then you have all their customer service information. Like we'd love a review and if you need any help. So that's what I really like. When I reached out to them, I got a response immediately. They were very happy to work with me. So they sent over a couple. And so far my customer experience has been awesome. So I'm gonna pull them, I'm gonna open them all up and kind of lay them out flat because the unboxing, unboxing experience is the same for all of it. All right guys, so I was able to unbox all of the cases and it looks like we didn't get a leather one, unfortunately. So I won't be able to test that one out and give you guys my review, but I'm gonna go right into it. We have what looks to be three matte finishes and then one clear one. These over here for the iPhone 11, this one's for the Pro Max. You'll get to see, so again, if you want something bulky with shock resistance, carbon fiber, metal, like Vel not Velcro, um, Kevlar, these are not gonna be the cases for you guys. Because if you're worried about dropping it on concrete over and over and over again, this is, this is more like for scratch resistance, maybe making sure that it doesn't, when it's in the same pocket as your keys, the back doesn't get scratched. It does have corner protection and a little lip that goes over everything. And as you can see, there's a lip on the camera bump on all of them. It's, a, it's very, like this thing is very thin. So again, it's more for scratch resistance as opposed to dropping it. Uh, probably dropping it from short distances, you'll be okay. Uh, because this material does, even though it's a little, th it's like very thin and you can move it around, the corners are very, very sturdy, right? So I'm gonna pop this one on the iPhone 11. Put that down. And then let's go with this, or let's go with this like frosted white one, just to see how it looks with the, dark iPhone. And this is what we're looking at, guys. Easy application process. As you can see, there's cutouts for all the things that you need cutouts for. Lightning port, speakers, hold button, nothing on the top. The back, you can still kind of see the Apple logo back there. And then you still get to see, obviously, the, can the trio, you know, the fidget spinner camera. And I like how it fits. Again, this is what I personally like. I like something very thin that doesn't really take away from the look and the side and like the feel of it. It makes it, it's still easier to get into my pocket, slide in my pocket and get the job done for me. I'm very careful with my devices, but it, you can't really be careful when it comes to scuffs and scratches. So this is perfect for that purpose. 
And then let's see it for the iPhone 11. Again, same scenario. You can see a little lip. The lip rises here with the camera bump. Cutouts perfectly for all, for everything you need. And as you guys saw, it's a very easy application process. If you guys do want to see, I'm going to show you. So to pop it off is also fairly easy. And I'm going to show you guys the clear one. So the clear one, so this is more plastic, right? They're both made out of plastic, but this one has more of a rubber feel. Like if I drop it, like this is feathery. You heard that, that like stays in the air. This thing is a little bit heavier. And this one would give you a lot more drop protection, I would say, than these thin ones. This, so you can still see the beauty of the purple color, which is awesome. You still got the cutout here with the raised lips. So when you do lay it flat, it does go over the camera. You got your cutouts. And this one is the case that I would recommend for somebody who still wants to keep it very thin, but there's more drop protection. Like this thing, it'll, it'll like bounce. Like this one, I don't see bouncing off the ground. This one will give it a little bit of a bounce where this is like, there's more shock absorption, I would say, with a case like this. These other ones, they're plasticky, they're, they're flimsy, but I like it a lot. So it's very minimal and you get a bunch of them and interchange them as you seem fit. So that's pretty much what we're gonna do for this video, guys. I would highly recommend that you guys go check these people out. Like I said, they make phones, or they make cases for a multitude of phones and not just iPhones and not just a new iPhone. So you can go back if you have an iPhone 10, iPhone 7, 8 plus, they still make these thin, really nice cases for your phones. If you just want scratch protection, go with these guys. If you want a little more shock absorption, I say go with the clear cases because of the material. And hopefully I'll get one of the leather cases as time goes on. So definitely I'm gonna link their website in the description below, but I'm gonna link them below, so definitely check them out. And like I said, if you guys wanna follow me on Twitter, I'll put it up one more time. And also right after this, boom, Amazon gift card. First one to take it, congratulations. So again, that's what I do for the video. Until next time guys, peace.